Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Um, this week I'll be reviewing Love is Blind. Um, I was hoping to review the whole season, but unfortunately I, I, some of the couples are a bit boring. So I tend to skip, so I really haven't found anything to discuss on some of the I couples. And I've only been watching my favorite couple this season. Um, so because of that, I've seen a couple of comments online that have sort of just touched me. And because I have watched, I try and watch something at least once or twice so that I clearly grasp what I've missed this for the first time and I feel the need to give my opinion or comment on the Mallory, Ger um, Gerard and um, Ayana sort of triangle. Well, here, here we go. In my opinion, I don't understand why people are so upset saying that, oh, he chose Mallory first and then he, when she refused him, he said Ayana. But if you look at it, I've watched it today, I've watched it twice before I commented. Jared and Mallory had a date and on that date they were talking and Jared was expressing himself and explaining that you know I've really enjoyed uh, you know getting to know you I've, re I've I really see us having a relationship that goes further than just you know the the experiment the experiment of the pods and stuff and so that's when he brought up the question which he is right to bring up the question if I were to pro propose would you say yes because from day one, he's always said he's connected with Mallory, he's collect connected with Ayana, and he's sort of conflicted because, you know, like today he'll have an excellent date with Ayana and he'll think, okay, good, I'll stick to Ayana. And then the next day it's Mallory and he has an excellent date. So it's only right that he asks, if I were to propose, what would your response be? No one knows if he was going to ask the same question to, to Ayana. People just assume that because he asked Mallory, that meant he, he wanted to marry her. I don't think that's the case. I think because if you look at all three of them, they're wearing the same clothes in, in, the, in the scenes because the clothes that Mallory is wearing when she meets with Jared are the same clothes that she's wearing when, she, when Ayana goes to, to sort of console her when she's crying. And the clothes that Ayana is wearing when she goes to console Mallory are the same clothes that she wears when she goes to see Jared, which means that all this must have happened within a space of a couple of hours, a couple of minutes or whatever happened, that whole conversation happened in that time. So my argument is, if Jared was as in love with Mallory as people are saying he was, why would you have this conversation and then just say, because at the end of the conversation with Mallory, he just said, it's over. And then he stormed off. And I know he was crying, but if that were the case, would he not have gone, cried, calmed down, and then asked her to come back and sit down and sort of have a conversation because this is someone he loves and he can't, you know, see himself without her? I think he was asking a question to sort of feel the temperature and see what is going on. That way it can help him make a decision because I don't think, I think, as he said, he, he was cynical when he, when, he, when he started the process because he didn't believe it could be possible for people to fall in love. And I think for him, maybe he was waiting until the final days to sort of make a decision because he was just enjoying dating these two women. And when he realized he was running out of time, that's when he decided to look for things to help him make a decision on who he was going to propose to because he, he said he was connecting with both ladies. He never said he was... I don't remember seeing where he said he loved both ladies. Um, and so... I don't understand why people are being so negative about him. And he spent more time trying to convince Ayana, who people are saying is the second option, than he did convincing Mallory. That doesn't make sense. If I'm your first option and you're crazy about me and you see a future with me and you want to marry me, why would you say at the slightest hiccup, turn around and go and then move on to somebody else? That means he was... He he might have liked her, but I don't think he, as much as he said he saw a future with her, I don't think, I think he was on the fence, more or less. I think what happened is, because when he was talking to the, his friends as the, as the episodes carried on, he said, you know, with Mallory, Mallory and I are more or less the same person. So it would have been me marrying myself and we would have got along. But the thing is, it would have been just superficial. And so... People need to understand that he was dating 14 people. It's not like he went through number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. And it wasn't mandatory for him to leave there having engaged someone. He could have just easily decided, okay, fine, you've broken up with me, that's fine, I'm going. But he knew he was connected to the 
Because my argument is this. Yes, his, the other guys told, reminded him about Ayana, but if he was not interested in Ayana, he could have just walked away. He went to Ayana, he told her the truth about what happened, and then from there, he met her the next day. And before he met her, he sat down with the same guys that he spoke to when he was crying and had a conversation that he was going to do his best to make sure that she accepted this proposal. Why would he fight more for Ayana than Mallory if he was more interested in Mallory? It doesn't make sense. So I don't understand people arguing and saying, oh, she's the second option. She's not his second option because if she was his second option, he would have asked her. She said no, he would have moved on. So I, I, I really don't get it. I really don't get it. And people are saying, oh, second, everybody is a second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh option to somebody else. Unless you date someone, they are your first love, you date them all the way till marriage, then that's your first option. If you date someone and you break up and you date someone and you, that means that person that you're going to eventually marry is not your first option. So I don't get it. Someone is saying, oh, I've been married for 23 years and, you know, this is my first. Well, if you've dated other people before you person you're married to for so many years, that means that the person you married is not your first option because you have dated other people before and those relationships must have been with the intention of settling down. You can't just, you know, be going through people and just saying, oh, you know, I was just going through people. You must have learned something from every relationship that eventually allowed you to make a decision to say, this is the person I want to settle with. So I personally don't understand why, why, why people are going so hard at Jared. Jared had this conversation with Mallory. And I think when they were in Mexico, I think for him, it was closure because he just stormed off and didn't say anything to Mallory until they met him in Mexico. And I think for him, it was closure because towards the end of his conversation, I think that conversation, in the, it's a bit um, tricky, the conversation he had with Mallory in Mexico, because I think the whoever was editing just cut off snippets of what they felt may, would make sense to sort of build the storyline. And then because at the end of the conversation, he said to Mallory, oh, Sal is a great guy. He's a really great... Why would he be praising someone who's taken, you know, the woman he loved? So it doesn't make sense. And even when Jared met with Sal, when they met up as, you know, everyone from, from this season two and, they were, and Sal sort of confronted him about Mallory and stuff. And he said, you know, I'm with Ayana. I'm happy with Ayana. We have no problems. Everything's going great. We're getting ready to get married. So I'm fine. Whatever happened in the pods stays in the pods. And people need to understand, you can't be aggrieved more than the person who's been offended. People can't be more aggrieved by what happened between Jared and Mall Mallory and Ayana than Ayana is. Ayana has done interviews and she said, we had a conversation, we talked about it, and I told him if he he did not put me first. Then I wouldn't say yes on wedding day. And he went out of his way to make sure that I felt that I was important to him. I was first. And this is how we've ended up, we ended up getting married. So people need to slow down and stop being so judgmental and sort of go back and rewatch the, 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 the season. And if you look at it, Jared and Ayana had a great relationship. You could see, you know, the trajectory of their relationship, how, you know, they were building as, as, as the episodes aired. And it's sad that they didn't show us all the good bits and they chose to focus on this Mallory storyline. I don't know whether it's because Sal and Mallory were a bit on the boring side, so they were trying to sort of create interest in them and sort of create this tension and stuff, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm so happy that Jared and Ayana got married and they've got over this thing. I I personally think they're still together. I personally think they're still together. I will do you and I will say why I think they're still together after the reunion. Um, thanks guys for watching. I needed to vent because I was really upset because people keep they have unrealistic expectations and are making silly comments without really watching, in my opinion, or without really um I don't know. I don't know what to say. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.